Dus uh, het kan exist. Well, if you didn't know what to look for, and if what you called God was an erroneous assumption, you might say that there's no evidence of a God. But if your opinion of God is based on an erroneous assumption, then there's no evidence that would ever be presented that would lead you to believe that there is a God. I don't know if you can hear this, but... There's a constant noise coming from a 17-year locust. They only come out every 17 years. What accident of nature would create a creature that only comes out once every 17 years? For that matter, what accident of nature could create even the simplest living thing. The one thing we know about molecules is that molecules care nothing about life. They have no brain. Chemicals care nothing about life. And the idea that in some prebiotic primordial soup life could have accidentally began, well, you wouldn't want to take those odds to Vegas. Because the odds are something like one followed by 40,000 zeros. If you believe that God is invisible, You'll never see him. If you believe that the essence of God is in all living things, you'll see him everywhere. We have a very limited understanding of who we are, what we are, where we came from. But what if the answer to all our biggest questions was in simply trying not to pretend that we know the answers or that we have an explanation. If you want to touch the source of all that is, just try this. Close your eyes. and forget everything. Forget your self-identity. Forget your beliefs. Forget your name. Forget everything and just be in the present moment. Just let 
your mind get quiet. Think about nothing except this moment. You'll still begin to see that whatever is in this moment is eternal. There's no past. There's no future. There is only now. There are some who call this state of mind zero state. When nothing and everything come together. There's nothing wrong with science. But to pretend that science can explain human consciousness, it can't. Science can't even tell us what gravity is. In the study of our universe, science has identified dark matter and dark energy. The mathematics suggest that they exist and yet both of these are invisible to us and if all we have at our disposal three-dimensional instruments with which to measure things. How can a three-dimensional instrument locate something from another dimension? It can't. see God in this picture. He's in here, you know. He's filling up every pixel. He's filling up you. Some people spend all their lives looking for God.
but the reality is, if you really understood what you were looking at, you would see him everywhere. Particularly in places like this. Oh, you say, but <laughs> it all just evolved. Mathematically, as I said before, that life could have evolved on this planet by some accident of nature is so incredibly small. Incredibly small. Not only that, what was the process that led that first life to continue to develop into other lives? What was the power behind that? Think about it this way. Do you believe you have a conscious thinking and intelligent mind? Do you? Where did you get it? You didn't get it from your parents. Well, yes, I did. No, you got it from a highly complex biological process that nine of, neither one of your parents was actually consciously involved in. They made love, and nature took care of the rest. Your mother did not sit there day after day, mentally assembling you in her room. A pre-programmed biological process took over from there and began doing the most intricate and amazing things. And then nine months later, you were born. So, where did you get your mind? The obvious nature, or the obvious answer, would be nature gave it to you. And if nature gave you a conscious thinking and intelligent mind, ask yourself this question. Can nature give you anything that it does not have? Of course not, it can't. So, if you have a conscious thinking and intelligent mind, and you're reasonably certain that nature gave it to you, and if nature cannot give you anything it does not itself possess, does it not stand to reason that nature must also have a conscious and intelligent mind? That would be the logical conclusion. So, is there a God? How do you define God? Do you think God is invisible? Some people see God every day.
just kind of need to know what you're looking for. Maybe God isn't a giant being on a cloud. Maybe God lives in you. Maybe God inhabits all life. Maybe God is everywhere, and everything, all at the same time. Maybe God is nothing, and everything, all at the same time. Maybe God is the universe. Maybe God is the universe observing you. Maybe God is the you observing the universe. And maybe you are the universe observing itself. No, I don't think Darwinian evolution is responsible for these locusts and butterflies and all these things. See, the driving force behind evolution is a thing called natural selection. We've never found natural selection under any microscope. Natural selection cannot explain the origin of first life. And for natural selection to work, it would have had to have come preloaded with all its parameters. it would have already had to have known the proper way to design things so that the earliest biological life wouldn't fail. Who programmed that? Ask yourself this question. Why is it, of all the complex machines and structures that exist on this planet, that only biological machines are credited with creating themselves? Forget what you think you know. Forget what you've been taught. Forget your own story. Forget your own past. Don't 
touch on the future. Think about right now. As if you didn't exist. Just disappear and capture this moment. When you can do that, you touch eternity. Thanks for watching.